Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of an example of a function f that satisfies all of the given conditions. We have f of 0 is equal to 3, and we have the following limits. So for drawing this in the xy plane, what we're going to start with is f of 0 equals 3. That means that when x is equal to 0, the value of the function is equal to 3. It doesn't tell us anything about what happens near 0, although we will get to that. We just know at 0, the function is equal to 3. As x approaches 0 is what we get to next. As x approaches 0 from the left, the value of the function is equal to 4. We have an open circle because we know at 0 it's not actually equal to 4, it's equal to 3. But as we're getting closer and closer to 4 from the left, from values less than 0, the value of the function is getting closer and closer to 4. From the right, similar thing, except it's getting closer and closer to 2. Right, and these are just the beginnings of the function, which we will draw in further once we have more information. We're also told that as x approaches negative infinity, the value of the function also is approaching negative infinity. That doesn't mean as something as precise as what we have here. That just means as the value of the function, or as x gets lower, the value of the function gets lower, and it goes generally in that direction. We have a similar thing to before, but here we have x is approaching 4 from the left and the right. So x equals 4 right here. We have a vertical asymptote. We have, as x is approaching 4 from the left, the value of the function is going off to negative infinity. Right, so we're getting from values less than 4. The value of the function is getting smaller and smaller. And as we're getting closer and closer to 4 from values greater than 4, the value of the function is getting larger and larger. Finally, as x approaches infinity, the value of the function is equal to 3. That means we have a horizontal asymptote, just trying to sketch it in very lightly, which means as x gets larger and larger, the value of the function is going to approach 3. Now we have all of our limits and values satisfied, and we can just connect this in to make it look a little bit better. And there we have our function f.